Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's the end of Sprint 5 and so once again we're going to take a look at the progress we've made. This sprint was definitely a smaller one, so this is probably going to be a short devlog. The first week I spent a lot of time learning a few UI systems. I learned Unity's new UI system, UI Toolkit, and that turned out to be a little bit too beta for my tastes. Then I looked at a couple of systems from the asset store. I liked a lot of them, but I wasn't quite sure they were what I wanted. And with the whole SRP thing, I felt like sticking with the current Yugui is probably the best call for my game. All that was for the screen space UI stuff. For world space UI, I've actually been holding off because I really wanted to try and implement shapes. Shapes is an awesome tool by Freya Holmer, I'll link down to it in the description. It finally came out about halfway through the sprint and I'm really excited. Even though I don't have it implemented yet, looking at it, I can say it's probably going to be exactly what I want. I'll do more of a showcase on it in the next devlog. After that, I decided to take some time off from the game to 1. push my schedules back a week, and 2. Let me work more on some of the home improvement projects I've got going on. Oh, and I also squeezed in a little bit of Satisfactory now that it's on Steam. Don't worry though, this was always the plan. I wanted Devlog 5 to have a shorter time between its production and its upload, so that I felt like you guys were more in the loop as to what was going on now instead of what was going on two weeks ago. In the final week, I really didn't get as far as I wanted to. Finishing up the item system took a bit more than I'd hoped, and it's still not even done. I feel like this is going to be one of those things that I keep changing throughout the entire time I'm developing the game, so I'm not too worried about it, but I really just want to get it to a V1. Last thing I did was the first actual UI pass. And I got it tied into the inventory system, etc. without any real hassle. This will all be changing, but at least it gets a generic system in place for me to build on. I also built an abstraction layer for the UI, so that if halfway through development UI toolkit becomes viable, I can actually switch out to that and it'll be really easy, I just have to change the code for one file. And really, that's, uh, that's it for this devlog. I know it was a shorter one, but the first week was basically all research, and the last week was slower because I had to sort of re-onboard myself before I could make meaningful progress. Next sprint should be better though. I have just two tasks that I absolutely have to get done. Number one, I need to get this item system to some kind of finish line. I need to have a V1 of that system so that I have a strong base to build on. Number two, I need to get shapes integrated for all the world space stuff, because like right now it's hard to aim with the spells and such, and I feel like that's an important thing to get in early as possible so that I can go through a lot of iteration. As far as a roadmap goes, once I can start doing test plays, I want to start implementing all of the level 1 items and enemies. Then they can be tested as they're created. While that's going on, I need to make a level kit for level 1, and I also need to start working on a level generator. This is something I have really well planned out though, both in the books and in the loads of notes that I've made over the past several weeks, so I feel really good about the level generator. As per usual, I truly appreciate all the support I'm getting, and I love reading any comments that you might have on both the videos or the game itself. Don't forget to hit the YouTube algorithm button, and might as well subscribe while your cursor is over there. Thanks, and stay safe out there.